If you're at home right now and you're suffering from burning, tingling, or numb feet, don't wait for it to get any worse. Pick up the phone right now and order my free report and DVD. You need to pay special attention to this next segment as we discuss neuropathy. What is neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is actually nerve damage to the feet and the legs primarily. Sometimes it can happen in the hands and arms. And what are the symptoms? The major symptoms we see are numbness, burning sensations, prickling and tingling, muscle cramps, uh, problems with your balance. The big question is, is neuropathy treatable? It is absolutely treatable and we can get some great results. Their pain goes away and they start getting more feeling in their feet. There's something they can do besides just take drugs. People want a solution, not just masking the pain. If you're still suffering with burning, numb, or tingling feet, and your doctor said there's nothing you can do for it except take medications like gabapentin, Lyrica, or Neurontin, there's other options out there for you. Don't wait for it to get any worse. Pick up the phone right now and order my free report and DVD. Call the number on the bottom of your screen to get your free report and DVD. Well, welcome back, and I'd like to welcome back also a gentleman who was on our show uh, two or three years ago. It's nice to have him back, Dr. Phil Straw with Optimal Health. Well, thanks for having me back. Yeah, it's nice to, to see you again. And um, we're going to talk about neuropathy. I think it's something that people have heard of, but most folks uh, don't really know what it is. They hear the word neuro in there, think, and uh, you know, they sure. think maybe nerves and that sort of thing. So. Um, Let's talk about that. What is neuropathy? Neuropathy, very simply, is nerve damage. And typically, patients get nerve damage in their feet or their hands. That's where it starts. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it can be a devastating condition. It, uh, most people recognize it as a numbness in their feet, or it can develop into a painful situation, like a burning or uh, burning feet or hot feet. People, some people describe it as uh, tingling and actually bugs crawling on their feet. Can this be as, as simple as somebody who has, gets carpal tunnel? Are we talking about that? Or it does it start from that and then, I don't mean start well, from there point. and progress, but is it, is... Carpal tunnel is a form of neuropathy okay. and that's a compression neuropathy. It's a mechanical damage. Mm -hmm. When we talk about peripheral neuropathy, which if it's affecting about 24 million Americans right now, mostly over the age of 60, that's a neuropathy that's caused mostly by diabetes. Okay. And it, so it's a metabolic condition throughout the whole body. Okay, so yeah. I, that's, is that one of the leading causes? The leading cause is diabetes, yeah. Type 2 diabetes and then um, another, so about half my practice, they're type 2 diabetic, and then you got about a third that are pre-diabetic, mm -hmm. and then the rest of them are, are a mixture of people with having adverse reactions to medications, oh, really? and then even um, people that have um, had chemotherapy for cancer, and that's the side effect of chemotherapy too. They can have the same type of, they get nerve damage in their feet and or their hands as well. Oh, interesting. And, um, you know, you just said that the main bulk of the people who get neuropathy, uh, is there other ways to get it? You talked about the medications, yeah, the, but the is one, it something that somebody can just get genetically? Not typically, no. Okay. The main medication I will go ahead and mention is statin medication. Okay. That's the one that lowers your cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And when it does that, it, they're finding now that it's causing, there's research showing it's causing nerve damage. Wow. So it, it's a big problem, and it goes unrecognized by most physicians because it's, it's not a well-known side effect. Yeah, that's interesting because uh, statins are often well-touted as lowering your cholesterol. Yeah, I mean, they have a great effect for that. They do. The yeah. side effect is that cholesterol is actually the fat that insulates the nerve. It's like mm -hmm. um, the insulation on a wire. Right. And if you decrease it too much, your wire is not going to have the insulation so it can short circuit and, and have... Uh, neuropathy symptoms. Wow, that's interesting. I guess we find that with every medication sure. out there. Yeah. Even the simplest medications, that's there true. are going to be some kind of effects that it may take years to figure out uh, that they're causing that. Uh, how, is it, how is it treated, especially for somebody with uh, di type 2 diabetes? Well, that's one of the biggest concerns because the main treatment is another medication yeah. that wasn't specifically made for neuropathy. It's called gabapentin. Um, it's also known as Neurontin. And that medication is actually for people with um, brain seizures. And what it does is it lowers the activity to the brain. Mm -hmm. And so they don't think, and with, so with a neuropathy patient, if their brain activity is decreased, then they don't feel their feet as much. Mm -hmm. And so basically, instead of treating the feet, they're just treating the brain so you don't think about your neuropathy, so it doesn't fix it. 
and actually with neuropathy is progressive, it gets worse with time, right. and they just increase the medication. Um, if that mm -hmm. seizure medication doesn't work, then they'll add a narcotic on it. So, then okay. they, so it's, it's, not a, it's not a good solution. Is, uh, is this something that um, you hear a lot uh, in, with diabetic patients that they end up uh, losing a foot or something like that? Is that something that can progress with neuropathy and often it's because they, they, they can't feel pain or they can't feel certain things and uh, infections start and go you just from there? See, perfect. You just described it exactly correct. What happens is the neuropathy causes a numbness in the feet, mm -hmm. so they don't feel sensations. They don't feel if they scratch their foot. They don't feel if they step on a hot surface, and then that leads to infection. And because they're type 2 diabetic, that infection doesn't heal properly, or, and that's what leads to amputation, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And beyond the, um, you said it mainly is uh, the foot, feet, and the hands, yeah. and things like that. Can it? Can you get it in other parts of the body where uh, maybe you had a, a really bad bout of uh, shingles or something like that, sure. which causes nerve damage and numbness? That can cause a neuropathy too. There's there's many different types of neuropathy, mm -hmm. and um, some of them can affect the digestive system, your heart, your bladder. I mean, it's far reaching as far as the damage it can do. And how would you know if you have that? We all get uh, numbness now and then for a variety of reasons. You know, you you. Uh, you have that old saying, your foot fell asleep or yeah, something like yeah. that. Or maybe you were working out gardening and you, you tweak something and for a few days it feels kind of numb and strange sure. there. So how would you know that, now this is something a little bit more? Well, with peripheral neuropathy, it typically starts in the ball of the foot mm -hmm. for most patients or the toes. They'll get numb, a slight numbness and it's persistent. It doesn't come and go. It doesn't go away. It'll start being persistent or they'll start having um, pain in their feet. Once you get those type of systems, symptoms, you need to go see a physician and get diagnosed. Okay. But one of the important things to understand is, like one of the reasons I'm here is the treatment we talked about, the medication, that's not a solution for the neuropathy. Yeah. And so what makes our business so busy, our office, we've seen over 2,500 patients we've treated in the last three years is because the people with neuropathy, they're looking for a solution. Right, right. And yeah. so we use technology that helps increase the circulation mm -hmm. in, in the feet. So the, nerve, the, the number one problem is that the feet are not getting enough circulation, and so they're not able to heal. They're not getting able to get enough oxygen and blood to the nerve, and that's what causes the damage. And so we increase that with a form of light therapy, and that helps the, the area start to heal. Okay. Uh, but equally important is we have to use a, a modality to stimulate the nerves and wake them up electrically. Mm -hmm. And so we use a modality from Germany that actually is an electrical th therapy that communicates to the nerve and helps stimulate them and get them working again. How often does someone need to go in for this kind of a Typically treatment? Typically a treatment like this uh, regimen is, they come in three times a week, it's for an hour. Mm -hmm. And so they, they do, they'll do two main three, uh, therapies there and then at home we give them a therapy to do at home too. Okay. And at home they, we have them do vibration which is really important because that helps circulation too. How new is this technology? The technology is FDA approved in about 2001. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, the application for neuropathy, that's what's been new. The protocol that I put together back in 2010, just for neuropathy patients, that's been evolving since then. And the protocol meaning that you, you went in. a specific way to apply this. To apply this and test people and see is this Correct. really working or it's not. And then along with that, I don't want to be failed to mention that dietary changes are a huge part of this too. That you need to do a combination of about four different things, both in the treatment and diet. And then when you do them all together, they work to help the patient get better. You can't just single out and do one modality or one thing and think you're going to get better. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a process to this. Now, if you go through these different processes and you, you catch it in time, can it be eliminated or reversed to the point where you no longer have to, except maybe for your diet and the normal exercises and things like that, where you could uh, end treatment or perhaps maybe Great. the treatment slows down or something? Great question. There's a start and finish to the treatment. And mm -hmm. when they're finished, it's kind of like getting open heart surgery. They've increased the circulation to your heart. They did the bypass, but now it's up to you to eat correctly, to exercise. Mm -hmm. And so the patients that typically we accept into our program, they're motivated, right? And so yeah. they want to get healthy and stay healthy. So we give them dietary guidelines to follow when they get done. 
and we give them an exercise regimen to continue when they're done. And the patients that we follow up with after a couple of years, the ones that stuck with just having a healthy lifestyle, they're very active today, and they have actually they haven't come back to see us except to say thank you. Yeah, it's like anything. You know, you've got to keep that up. It yeah. doesn't matter what it is. How do they get accepted into your program? Do they go through their uh, primary care or? They come directly to us. Okay. And most of them are already on the primary care. They've had the medications, and unfortunately, most of the primary care doctors don't know what we do yet, and mm -hmm. we're trying to change that right now. And so from their primary care, they're like, hey, you can either live with it or take medications. When they hear about us, they come in by themselves, self-referral, mm -hmm. and then we evaluate them and, and find out if they're a good candidate or not. Okay, and at this point, are um, you uh, connected to Medicare or anything like that or insurance programs? Well, as everybody knows now with Medicare, it, it's not getting better, it's getting worse. Yeah. And so our big goal is to make it affordable for patients. And okay. So whether you're a single, uh, um, single uh, person over the age of 75 on very fixed income, that's our typical patient. Mm -hmm. And so we make it affordable so they can fit it into their budget to get the care that they need. All right. Uh, as far as um, uh, catching it in time, you said the first things a lot of people feel are a continual numbness on the bottom of their feet or maybe a tingling. That would be the early stages. And yeah. that would be the time if they notice that this is persisting over weeks or something to get a hold of you. Yeah. And like any kind of illness, to get at it at the very beginning, you're going to have a better outcome. Correct. Correct. Sometimes we see patients where it's progressed up their legs and they have it into their knees. Wow. And they'll either come in in a walker or a wheelchair and they're looking for a miracle. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's you know we're not doing miracles. Right. Right. So with them, we could give them pain relief, but we're not going to get them out of the wheelchair at that point or the walker. Okay. Where are you located? We're, I have four locations. Mm -hmm. um, the closest one to Laguna Woods is here in, in Lake Forest. Okay. Yeah. So close by. And this is the uh, the number that we have. Is this your Lake Forest number here? or That's just our main, your main, main office number. Okay. 949-864-6115. Uh, can someone just call you and uh, come in for a consultation and think, you know, exactly. I don't know if I have this or not. I, I've yeah. had this sensation for a while and they can come in for a free consultation where we'll talk to them and let them know and look at their history and determine if they're in the right place and go from there. Okay. And again, as you were saying, it's most of your patients are diabetic or pre-diabetic. Half of them are and okay. the other half are none of the above. They, they have either their post chemotherapy okay. or they're having some other type of um, causative factor that hasn't been determined. Could yet. it be an injury? Uh, that may cause that? Uh, or you can have injury. If someone has a, in one, let's say, one foot, that could mm -hmm. be an injury. But okay. typically, patients are coming in with it. It's in both feet. Okay. Maybe more than one than the other, but it's usually a metabolic problem. But it could be an injury, too. All right. Very good. Uh, doctor, nice to have you on. Nice to great, see you again. Great being here. It's been a few years. Uh, give Dr. Uh, Straw a call, Optimal Health, 949-864-6115. And if you feel uh, that you could use some help with this, at least, at the very least, uh, have it checked out and uh, see if Dr. Straw can help you. Nice to see you again, Great. sir. All right, we'll be back in just a moment. If you're at home right now and you're suffering from burning, tingling, or numb feet, don't wait for it to get any worse. Pick up the phone right now and order my free report and DVD. You need to pay special attention to this next segment as we discuss neuropathy. What is neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is actually nerve damage to the feet and the legs primarily. Sometimes it can happen in the hands and arms. And what are the symptoms? The major symptoms we see are numbness, burning sensations, prickling and tingling, muscle cramps, uh, problems with your balance. The big question is, is neuropathy treatable? It is absolutely treatable and we can get some great results. Their pain goes away and they start getting more feeling in their feet. There's something they can do besides just take drugs. People want a solution, not just masking the pain. If you're still suffering with burning, numb, or tingling feet, and your doctor said there's nothing you can do for it except take medications like gabapentin, Lyrica, or Neurontin, there's other options out there for you. Don't wait for it to get any worse. Pick up the phone right now and order my free report and DVD. Call the number on the bottom of your screen to get your free report and DVD.